it seems she gazed down on an endless green slope of mass treetops, across a rolling basin black with forest, to a colossal wall of red rock, level and black fringed on top, but widely broken along its face into gigantic cliffs, escarpments, points, and ledges as far as the eye could see to east or west. The wild grand wall of rock seemed to shut in the basin to bar it from what lay beyond. Those were the words of Zane Grey about the Mugion Rim in his novel Under the Tonto Rim. Central Arizona's unique climate and environment have beckoned settlers for thousands of years. The earliest evidence of human presence in Payson's Rim Country goes back 11,000 years. The terrain in the prehistoric period looked markedly different than the sprawling ponderosa pine forest visible today. Juniper was the most common tree with no evidence of ponderosa and only a percentage of pinyon pine. Deer and rabbit were plentiful. Rainfall during most of the prehistoric era was consistent enough to allow for rainfall farming of maize, squash, and beans. This substance diet was supplemented with wild plants such as juniper, agave, walnut, and manzanita. By the 1300s, these early people left the area, most likely due to a major drought in the late 1200s. Then, Rim Country was mostly deserted for a short period of time. The Apaches appear in the area next, but were easy on the land as they were primarily hunter-gatherers who moved frequently. By this time, the scrub pine of the rim country had matured into towering ponderosa pine forests seen today. Pinion pine nuts, mesquite beans, manzanita beans, berries such as strawberries, raspberries, sunflower, and various cactus plants at slightly lower elevations were Apache staples. The agave was a favorite delicacy of the Apaches, and the pits they used for roasting it can still be found in the area today. Next came waves of settlers from the east, including trappers, miners, and ranchers. William Craig in the 1880s describes pine bunch grass near Payson, quote, standing three feet high and in great bunches. John Klein told of Tano Creek, quote, full of beaver and otter, and said, in those days, we had everything in creation we wanted. The grass was stirrup deep and green all year round. There was plenty of water and lots of rain. Well, that abundance, however, led to too many cattle, sheep, and horses for the land to support, and over the next hundred years, droughts and overuse changed the land and the lives of its residents. Today, the Mugion Rim Country draws people for its mild climate and many recreational opportunities.